see now she's getting more aggressive with it because she knows she's losing. And she's going further now. You want to come try it again? Well, look what we have here. Fresh Toucan merch with brand new designs. And what else? Our top contributors on Patreon. All this goes to the channel and helps rescue new birds in the future. Again, we could not do this without you guys, and I can't thank you enough. So I wanted to show you this behavior real quick because um, I haven't seen Maeve do it quite to this extent yet. I have this paper towel roll, but look how she's reacting to it. I don't know why she sees it as a potential challenge to her, but it's a good opportunity to show defensive behavior. Hey, watch out. Hold on. The defensive behavior that two cans have. And we're just going to demonstrate that now. Hold on. Let's see if she'll do it again. Let me switch hands here. She's not doing it to the same extent she was a second ago. Oh, she kind of is. You can kind of see it. See how she's like squatting down there and spreading her wings out. She spread her tail feathers out trying to make herself look bigger and kind of pointing her, pointing her beak up like that. And the reason they point their beak up like that is because they can't really see over it that much. But when they're in a situation where they might be... See how she's... snapping at it, but the, if they're in a situation where they feel like they might need to bite or defend themselves for whatever reason, they do this when they play too, and that might be what she's doing now, but I'll try to see if she'll point her beak up again. When they want to get a closer look at something, usually they'll turn their head to it, but specifically when they're being more aggressive, they point their beak up and they kind of look down if that makes sense. So when they look down there, did you just poop? You did, didn't you? Gross. When they look down, it's so they can see. I'm trying to point out here. It's just me. Watch out. They can see better underneath their beak, but they still have their beak at a point where they just have to come down like this to snap. So they can't see over top of it very well, but they can see the very tip of their beak there. So they have very good dexterity with it, but pretty specifically you know when they're going to bite because they'll point their beak towards you instead of turning their head towards you. And she's not really being that aggressive right now. She was a second ago, but there you go. And shaking it like that. You want to play with this? I don't know why she's not, I don't know why she sees this uh, paper towel roll that way. It's kind of weird. I was like, maybe she might like to play with this, and immediately she was just wanting to kill it. But she'll follow it around, because she's trying to challenge it. So if I move over here, she's going to follow. You want to play with it? Look, it's not that bad, huh? See how she's shaking it? She'll probably try to step on it in a second. She might not be able to, though. Did you get it? Is it dead? And now that she's actually held it, she's not as afraid of it. Maybe she'll do it to this, um... I have this little stuffed toucan. Let me see if she does it to that. She might. Here it is. Yeah, not, not to the same extent, though. So, in their 
social structures and their flock, they'll often challenge each other to fencing with their beaks. Which isn't like them trying to kill each other. It's kind of like wrestling a little bit, how you might, as a kid, wrestle with your friend. But you want to show them who's boss, but at the same time you don't really want to hurt them. It's kind of like that. And then the loser flies away. So she's getting a little bit hormonal because she's starting to get to a year old. Which means she'll be going through puberty soon. Which also means she'll become more aggressive. And that's about the time when most toucan owners tap out. <laughs> or if they buy a toucan. They're good for the first year. Maybe two years. They reach sexual maturity. Their behavior changes quite a bit. They get more aggressive. And if you don't know how to handle that and manage it, it's, uh, it can be scary. So they'll actually, the way that she's trying to chase this paper towel roll down and bite it. And she's not even doing it to that much of an extent right now. Like it'll, it'll get even crazier when she gets older and bigger. But the way that she chases it down and tries to bite it, and she's not really trying to bite it hard right now, but they will do that to you. <laughs> and if you, if you run away from them, that shows them that you're afraid of them and that they win. They have some power over you. So usually the goal when they fence with each other and you kind of have to replicate that a little bit, or at least that's what I've learned to do and it really, it helped with Ripley and I'm sure it'll help with Maeve as well, is you get them to be the losers. You wanna come back up here? Maeve, look. You just fell down, I didn't even make you lose. Come up here. Yeah. See how she's really going after it now? So they'll fence with each other in the wild. I don't need to do that now. And maybe she won't even be to the same aggressive level as like a toko toucan. They might have a little bit of differences in species, but usually that would be like, I don't know if I can do it with the paper towel roll, but get her to fly away like that. And that, and you stand your ground. No come back, they'll keep doing it. See, now she's getting more aggressive with it because she knows she's losing. And she's going further now. You want to come try it again? And she's not getting hurt. It's just, it's part of their language. So. You want to come back? Huh? Or are you the loser now? You are, aren't you? We'll leave the paper towel roll here. Just me now. Are you gonna go back over and try to get it? Now she's a little more intimidated by it. What do you think? But anyways, I just thought you guys might find that interesting. And uh, she'll probably get, she's going over to it now. You wanna go play with it? You can play with it like a toy. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt you. Let's see, she doesn't do that with me, like with my hands. And they do, they see, for some reason they see uh, your hands as your beak. Or like what they would, the equivalent to their beak instead of your mouth. So they can tell the difference between that for some reason. Like they know that we manipulate objects with our hands and not with our mouth. So, like, um, before when Ripley got hormonal and would try to chase me down and bite me, she would always, always go for my hands. She would never try to bite the face or anywhere else. She'd always go after my hands. So, and I'm sure that Maeve, when her little hormones start peaking, she will be much similar to that, won't you? Are you going to be a little terrorizer? Or are you going to be a good girl? She may not be like that. That may have just been Ripley's personality, but most toucans, especially if you go and check out like bird tricks video on toucans biting, um, everything she says is pretty much true. Like they'll chase you down. It's kind of scary. <laughs> so um, if you don't know how to manage that, 
and you let them bully you, they will continue to bully you. So there, there you go. Let's not start with that right now, huh? Anyways, that's about it, guys. Um, have more updates for you on Two Fox Health very soon. And we're going to get, to get the new bird very soon as well. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to hit like. Um, hit the bell notification if you guys are subscribed. Because it alerts you to when we have new videos. And it helps the channel out quite a bit. So take care, guys. Have a great day.